everyone thanks for coming along to my video i'm tash and i'm from heart and design and today we're going to learn to draw step by step and the subject is this very gorgeous little moon fairy this is one of many step by step tutorials you'll find on my channel and they are also available as sheets that look a little bit like this this was the unicorn one so you'll have the step by step images and then all the instructions and somewhere to draw them uh yeah it's also available as a book so i've just released this book it's available on my website or on amazon all the links are below just a little quick flip through for you so you can see everything is as it would be on the sheets and at the end you also if you just don't feel like drawing you just want to have some peace time there's adult coloring at the back or children of course okay so uh all you need is a pencil i'm using an hb and an eraser and make sure your pencil's nice and sharp so you'll need a sharpener apart from that we're good to go as long as you've got the sheets and you've printed them already um and you've got some paper so this will be what the image will look like when we're finished but i've enlarged up all of the separate steps that we need to take to get through until we've drawn the whole thing so that you can see it nice and clearly i was before using the other sheets and i just think the images were so small it was difficult for you to see so we're going to start with step one which starts with a curve now this is on the picture it's not quite the furthest point away from the edge so you might want to think oh the cloud will be there so i'll start about here okay so think about your placement of where we're starting in accordance with the whole thing which is why this is quite low down and with quite a big space over here so I'm drawing in the first part of the moon. It's literally just a little curve there and a smaller one underneath. I'll move that across so you can see a bit better. There. And I'm going to come in with the curves of the cloud. Now with this, the cloud does go the furthest point across. So don't worry if you end up at the end of the sheet of paper, you will. I did that a bit too small to begin with. So I'm going to move my hand further down my pencil because I was drawing too tightly. So that's a nice little tip for you there. Okay, and then I'm going to come under here. Just use little strokes to get the general shape. It will be easier for you to rub out if you've pressed lightly. I'm pressing a little bit harder than you will because I want you to be able to see what I'm drawing. But otherwise, apart from that, the best thing you can do is, is, color, is draw lightly. You can always rub out then and there'll be no marks left will be nicely hidden any of your mistakes will disappear but remember remember there's no mistakes just learning okay so that's it step one is done I'm going to move on to step two and it's the face of our little fairy and her hands coming round now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw her first bit of hair here Okay, now just do little bubbles like that and it's going up slightly at an angle. It's also kind of just flopping around there in a little ball and then we're coming up to her face here. Okay, and that's where we want the start of her hair. Now because I've drawn that in, I can come down here now and draw the little point of her hair where her pigtail's pointing down and we need to draw some little bits of decoration in her hair which is basically just showing telling the story that her hair has depth and curls and things to it so then we're going to come around and draw her arms like so and then we're going to do a c just a c the letter c because then what we're going to do is draw hands in and now the hands are basically one oval shape with lines in the middle Okay, and that gives the impression of two hands. Then I'm going to draw another C here for her other arm, and then it's just the same up. Okay, so basically you know that that's going to be her face there. Then we're going to draw the rest of her hair. So I'm going to come around here, make sure that's all floppy. And then it comes to, what I like is this bit comes up. It kind of makes her really cute. There we are. And we're just going to give her some more description of what's going on. 
Now I am going to draw her hair coming in like that a bit, like the way her fringe had formed. Okay, so we're done. That's pretty much that step done. The next step, I forget which number we're on now, but it's fine. So we've got to go into a little bit more detail. Um, let's tuck that underneath and then you can see both. We're going to go into a little bit more detail with her body. And then we've got to put those Zs in there to show she's asleep. So that's nice and quick, just little Zs getting slowly bigger. So it's showing that she's asleep. We're also going to draw her face. So when we draw her face, it's just two little upside down Cs like that. And then we're drawing in her eyelashes. So she's got little eyelashes then she has a little button nose she has a little straight mouth because she's asleep she's not got any expression and little cheeks there we go and i think what i need to do is bring her hair down a bit because her face wasn't symmetrical that's better yeah so you can keep adjusting as you go along if you feel as though it's not quite how you want it to be change it right the one thing about drawing an art is people get scared because they think, oh, I'm going to make a mistake. Don't worry. You can put everything right and there is no mistakes. Just learning. Right, so what I'm doing there is I'm actually looking the screen ahead, but I'm, I'm checking what um, marks I need to make and I'm literally just following the instructions. So you can use little marks like that or if you're feeling confident, just go around and do it in one line. It's fine either way. So we've done her sleeping bag. Now we need to draw the rest of the moon coming up behind her. So I'm going to move that slightly out of the way because it is going to take up, there we go, more space on the picture and I need to draw in the moon. So I want it to come up to about here, the point. So I've drawn my point in by looking here at the drawing and thinking, right, I want it to be about here. Okay. So then I'm going to just try and draw in with strokes lots of strokes the shape you're not trying to get it done in one go if you try and get it done in one go you, it'll be more difficult to get it right so then i'm going to come round and imagine i've drawn round there so that part of the moon you can't see but because i've pretended to draw it i know it's coming from the right direction okay and then that's it and then you can go over it a bit more firmly when you're confident that you've got the shape in all right another level done i hope you're enjoying it moving on to the next stage so here we're going to draw in the wings how cute are they they're like little leaf wings so she's got a bit of a bump on her back there and i'm going to draw them as though they're coming from there so she's got one quite big one here and then another quite big one over here. Now, I'm not looking too closely. I just know that she's got two and that's fine. They're the larger ones. And then she's got a little one poking through here and then another little one poking through here. And that's all you need to draw. Then we go down the middle with some lines. They can be slightly curved. And then we're just going to draw in some diagonal lines that meet that central line to draw in her wings and that's her done another level done we are getting there we are nearly there oh patched on one that shouldn't be there let's get rid of that one okay so now on this level we're doing the background sky and stars oh and i have got to remember which i always forget on this level is to draw in that other cloud okay so again i'm using little strokes first to kind of get the shape how i definitely exactly want it taking my time i'm looking back and forward you can see my eyes you can see my head moving always looking even though i know what's coming obviously i know what's coming um, now I haven't met my clouds, it doesn't matter, I mean I could have done, I could have made them bigger, but it doesn't really matter. Um, now we've got the two clouds in, we can start to put the stars in the sky. So if you're not sure or comfortable about making stars, I would practice. But basically, it's point at the top, 
and I would come out and make another point on each side and then two more at the bottom that meet there I mean that's not perfect but it doesn't really matter uh right another little one over here tiny one over here so all you have to do here you don't have to copy them as they are but just make sure you have got some in the sky there's one peeping out the moon make sure they're different sizes as well because whenever we look up the stars are always spl sparkling away in different sizes aren't they here we go lots of little ones as well Right, so now I'm going to go around and although they are just dots as well, you can put some just dots down. They're tiny, tiny stars. You can also do these little patterns that are like this. They're basically just crosses, lots of lines, and that looks like stars twinkling in the background as well. There, so that's that one finished. Now for the final detail. On the last step, step six, we're moving on to putting the patterns in the cloud. And if you followed my other videos, you'll see that I did this also with the magic castle. Because the magic castle is coming out of a big cloud. So all this does is it's giving us information. It's telling us a story that, oh, this is a 3D object. It has shape. It has form. It has movement. If we left it without those details... Um, it will just look like a flat shape and we don't want that we want it to look as though it is 3d and moving there we are okay so that's the final step done. I hope you enjoyed our lovely little Moonlight Fairy. If you did, please subscribe below and make sure you click the notification bell to hear about my future videos. Also, please um, like, comment and share. It all helps my channel to grow. Thank you very much. Have a good day, everyone.